My name is Deepa Aina, um, and I, I, I got my first Bible from a missionary when I was 11 years old, and I gave my life to Christ then. And that started my relationship with Christ. And I look back to those days, and I thank God for that relationship, uh, because that has proved very foundational for every other thing else that happened, and has happened, and I believe will happen in my life. Um, from the time I accepted Christ as my Lord and Savior when I was 11, I got to study the Bible from cover to cover, from Genesis to Revelation, and also got, got to um, um, memorize some key verses like um, we all do. And growing up in Northern Nigeria, Christianity has been challenged, particularly in the last couple of years. And when I, got, when I finished college and I started teaching there, um, I found way back in 1987, in the university town where I walked, uh, I woke up one morning and all the churches had been burnt. And I was pretty scared, not, not only for myself, but for my faith, because I knew the persecution um, in that part of Northern Nigeria uh, was in earnest. And I was afraid to hold that same Bible again, which um, I had been given when I was 11 years old. Uh, when I got married uh, and my, my wife and I started having children, um, it got to a point where we were scared to let our children go out to school, to, to, our, to the Christian school where they were attending, because then children were being killed in schools because they were going to Christian schools or because they were going to Western educated schools. Um, and it got to a point where before we left Nigeria, we had to pull the kids out of school because we were so much afraid that they'll go to school and they'll never come back again. That, that influenced our, uh, our leave in Nigeria because our faith was being challenged, we couldn't profess our faith, um, we were scared to be Christians. The, coming to America in 2013 and settling in Maryland in 2015, Lighthouse, the, the, the simplicity of the message of the Word of God, which we found here in Lighthouse Church, um, proved invaluable to us. And subsequently, when I joined um, the LH Men's Group and the, the way the grace of God was made clear to, to me, um, proved pretty much to, to me that I, um, that I was, uh, my, my family and I were in the right place to grow spiritually. Um, and of course, um, we knew that we had found the place we wanted to be. What I look forward to about leading my, um, my group this semester is getting a deeper understanding of the Word of God. You can't do that on your own. Oftentimes, we, we, I mean, it's good to study the Bible on your own, but then I believe when we study the Bible in fellowship with other Christians, and have, you know, um, uh, um, an understanding in a group session, you know, um, and share experiences. And oftentimes we find that people share their experiences better when they're in groups. But then with the Word of God, we were able to have a deeper understanding of these experiences. And with God helping us, we can overcome uh, uh, um, these experiences. And I think that, that that's um, the, LH, the LH group um, provides us that wonderful opportunity to be able to understand the Word of God in a group session under the guidance of, 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 the, of the LH um, church leadership. And I think, I think there's, there's, there's nothing else anyone can look forward to other than having that deep, deep understanding of the Word of God because God Himself is revealed to us through His Word.